Hey TPT sellers, I'm gonna set up an email form on my TPT blog because I am trying to get my own eyeballs to my TPT products. So this episode is for hamsters and hawks. Once you're a TPT hamster and you're churning out content, eventually you realize that it's not a linear relationship between putting out content and making sales. The reality is we're gonna to have to get our own eyeballs to our products. Right now, the big idea I'm playing with is bring your own buyers. This diagram basically shows you how we get buyers to our products. Our TPT product page is at the bottom here. And most of us, when we're just starting, TPT search is the only source of traffic. But really, that puts us in a precarious position because we completely rely on the TPT search algorithm. Right now, what I'm trying to do is work on my TPT blog to get organic Google search traffic to my TPT blog. They love my stuff and then they sign up for the email list. That email list lets me nurture a relationship with them and I send them to the product page. I have their emails. So I don't have to worry about TPT not giving me the emails because I brought my own customers to my TPT store. So that's the strategy I'm trying. Some of you are wondering why do you need a TPT blog? Basically to demonstrate that you know what you're talking about. You're the hero of your TPT store. They're buying you in the same way that you're watching this content right now because you've bought into me. I'm selling you this content, not because it's TPT seller tips, but because you like the kind of stuff I'm producing. So the point of a TPT blog or the point of a YouTube channel is to demonstrate that you have expertise. You know what you're talking about. You want to demonstrate that you're an authority. People trust you and that trust eventually translates into sales. Today I'm going to tinker with an email newsletter. I'm going to use ConvertKit. Check the link in the video description. There's an article about why I'm using ConvertKit right now. Let's start a 30 minute timer. By the end of this 30 minute timer, I want to have a landing page form for people to sign up on my website and get a freebie. Here's my TPT blog, readingcomprehensionstrategies.org. I can sign in from WP Admin. It's powered by WordPress. If you go to the bottom, you can see I actually have a ConvertKit form, but this is for my SEOTpreneur ConvertKit account. And I need to swap that out because I have a ConvertKit account just for Edgy Circles. I am going to go to ConvertKit. I'll log into my Edgy Circles account and I'm going to click on Grow landing page and forms. I have some landing pages for my edgy circles website, but I'm going to create one from fresh. So I'm going to click create new. This is going to be a form. So I'm going to embed this form on my website. It's going to be in lines because it's going to be in the middle of the page. Uh, I do want to show a, a sample of the handout. So I'm going to go with this one and choose Charlotte. All right. I'm going to rename this. I'm reading comprehensionstrategies.org 10x freebie. So I'll save that. It's 25 minutes left. I have to figure out a freebie. Now I want to replace this image with my handout, but I know that it's going to resize depending on things. So I actually want to know the size of this image. Can I open this image? Here's the image 800 by 1200. So I'm just going to go into Canva. I'm going to create a design that is 800 by 1200. I'm going to leave it a white background. So I'm going to give away text puzzle number seven, the freebie. And I want to show a picture of the handout so that people know exactly what they're getting. That's the picture. Let's drag it on here. I might actually add the, the border. No, I'm okay with that. I'm going to maybe I'll add a background. Mm, how much time do I have left? This is good enough. All right. So let's call this convert kit freebie text puzzle seven. I'm going to download it as a JPEG. 800 by 1200 is fine. Let's save it to my computer. I'm going to go back to convert kit. Let's choose the file. There's my file. Pretty basic, but it shows the handout. It's good enough right now. So I'm going to call this print free critical thinking text puzzle. I want this to be dark black as opposed to light gray. So make that black email address. I'm going to make the font color subtle. That's fine. I do want to get their first name. So I'm going to add a custom field here and it's going to be the first name. I'm going to ask for their last name because eventually I'm going to try to match it up with my buyers. In the second field, I already created a custom field called last name. So I'll add that in here and send me the guide. I'm going to change that. So it says download the lesson, lesson, download the activity, print the handout, download the lesson. Good enough. Now I don't like the color and make it bright red. There we go. I like that a lot better. All right. Good enough. Oh, and then I have to add some information here. So I will need to let them know they're signing up for the Edgy Circles Club newsletter. So sign up for the Edgy Circles newsletter. I'll send you this lesson as well as other freebies and special offers. Unsubscribe at any time. All right. So let's go up to the top here. I'm going to publish this. Just because I publish it doesn't mean anyone can actually see it. So it's published. I'm going to go to my TPT blog. Now you need to install the free ConvertKit plugin. You can see I've already installed it here. 
And once you've installed the free convert kit plugin, you go to settings. Now I'm actually going to sign out of this account. I'm going to deactivate convert kit and let's see if I can reactivate it with clean settings. This is on SEOT hosting. I have my edgy circles website and I have it on a, a multi network or a multi-site plan. So I can have multiple TPT blogs on a single WordPress installation. That's why the plugin's already installed. I'm gonna to go to con convert kit. I'm gonna activate it. And then under settings and convert kit, let's see if I can get some fresh options. So I'm gonna to have to connect my convert kit by getting the API key. So I'll click on that link. Here's my API key. I also need to get the secret key, which is a little bit like a password. So I'm going to do that off camera. All right. I can tell I've signed into edgy circles. And if I scroll to the bottom, I can choose which form will show up by default. I'm going to choose on the pages to show the reading comprehension strategy 10 X freebie. And on the default form, I'm also going to choose the freebie. So if I scroll down, I hit save changes. Oh, well, that's very anticlimactic. That's the old one, or that's just, it hasn't saved yet. Sometimes it's frustrating. Let's hit save. It's saved. Let's hit publish. It should be published. I think it might just take a second for it to load, for it to sync up with the server. There we go. So now I have my free critical thinking text puzzle. I like that. I wish it was centered, but that's a problem for another day. So in ConvertKit, I need to set it up so that when you sign up, you get the freebie. So I go to settings. This is the incentive email. I'm going to edit it and I'm going to make it more obvious. Download the critical thinking text puzzle by confirming your subscription. All right, I'm going to confirm your subscription and download the lesson. It's good to have you. And I make sure it's from my email address, Mike from Edgy Circles. I'm going to hit save. After confirming, I want for them to download the freebie. So I'm going to click on download. Let's choose the file. I'm just going to find the freebie for Text Puzzle 7. Here's the early bird version. One of the rules with TPT is you can't have the same resource as what you have on TPT and offer it for less than what you sell it on TPT for. But this handout is not the same as what I have on TPT. Okay. And advanced, continue to show the form. I'm going to turn on the invisible recaptcha, which will help prevent spam. So I'm going to hit save on that. Alrighty. Now I do want them to have a tag. This is not a 10 X freebie. I'm going to change the name. This is actually critical thinking puzzle seven text puzzle seven freebie. I'm going to hit publish. I'm also going to hit save. Now in the blog, there's a way to apply a tag. I don't know if I can create a tag from here. I don't think I can. So I'm going to go to convert kit. If I go to subscribers, there's a list of tags and I can click on create a tag. I'm going to create a tag called uh, text puzzle seven freebie. And I put the source of this tag. So readingcomprehensionstrategies.org. I'm going to save this tag. And then in my WordPress page, I'm going to click on this refresh button to resync and get the new tags. I should be able to find here's my text puzzle seven freebie tag. Now, whenever someone signs up from this page, they'll automatically get this tag in them. And then I can sort the data and figure out who's coming in from this form. So I'm going to hit update. Now I do want to see what happens. So I'm going to go to my website. I need to make sure the, the form works the way I think it's going to work. Here's the form. I'm going to sign up with my email address. A pro tip, if you have a Gmail account, instead of going mike at edgycircles.org, I can add a plus sign at the end of my name and I can add anything I want and Gmail will consider it an alias, a different version. So that's how you can test email addresses. So I'm going to put Today's date, 2024, 05 I have seven minutes left. Mike Kuchigami. And I'm going to put delete here just so I know to delete it later on. So I click on download the lesson. Let's see what happens here. I have to prove I'm not a robot. Hit subscribe. And then it says success. Now check your email to confirm your subscription. It hasn't arrived yet. Oh, there we go. So here's the email. Download the critical thinking text puzzle by confirming your subscription. Thanks for signing up. Confirm your subscription and download the lesson. And there we go. So I've confirmed my subscription and I got this early bird. I have five minutes, 47 seconds left. This is how I upsell to my bundles from the freebie. And if I click on this right now, it's going to look as if it's upselling from the text puzzle because I have a UTM code in here. But really, I should put that this is the freebie so that I, I can tell if this approach is working. Did anything else happen? So in ConvertKit, I can see that I've subscribed. If I click on this profile, it says incentive email, but it looks like it didn't add my tag like I thought it would. Maybe I didn't hit update. Okay, I'm going to try again with a different email address. So I just updated the page. If I click on free stuff, where does that go? Email. Oh, I definitely need to change this. Okay, so I'm going to edit this page. Now, 
there's a convert kit block. I'll just show you very quickly how to add it. I just deleted what I had. So here's the empty space. I'm going to hit the plus button. I'm just going to type convert kit and it's a convert kit form. Now, once I do that, I click on it and on the right hand side, there's a block and I can choose the form and I want this text puzzle seven. There we go. Wow. It's so pretty. Update that. Now it's not centered, but I can live with that for right now. So here's my email. Here's the freebie. I'm going to sign up with another email, 2024-03-05-1747 at edgycircles.org. So Mike Fuchigami delete. I'm going to click download the lesson. I'm not a robot. I basically want to see if it's tagging it correctly. All right. So I won't show up as a subscriber until I confirm my subscription. So here's my subscription. Confirm your subscription and download the lesson. Here's the lesson again. I can see here's the new mic because I've subscribed. Let's just click on it and let's see if it added the tag correctly at the bottom. No, it didn't. Oh, maybe there's a glitch. Maybe it's not accepting the tags. Now I can still tell what form I signed up from because if I click on this person and click on forms, I can see they signed up through this form. I've got 26 seconds left. You can do this with the free version of ConvertKit. What you can't do is send them a, like a follow-up email in the funnel. You can't use the visual automations where you put them into a sequence. That requires a paid account. But at the very least, people can get my freebie. If you have a question about your TPT blog, ask it below. I love talking about WordPress. If you want free coaching with me, check out this video especially the pinned comment because there's a special word that you need to put in a comment. YouTube thinks you should watch this video. And if you learn something new, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.